climate crisis is not a game. These uh, generations are uh, claiming to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, specifically 51,000 tons that we produce each year, contribu contributing to an accelerating climate change. I come from Peru. It's a country in Latin America. It has a huge biodiversity. It has seas, glaciers, and part of the Amazon. We contribute uh, less than 1% of CO2 emissions globally, yet we are the third country in the world most vulnerable to the effects of climate change. When I was a kid, I remember traveling with my parents during vacations to a glacier in Peru called Pastoruri. Nowadays, this glacier has lost most of its ice and is no longer a place that can be visited. Because of the effects of climate change, Peru has lost more than 50% of its glacial surface in the last 50 years. Climate change and air pollution have a direct connection. They both contribute to each other getting worse, and they have one primary source in common, the burning of fossil fuels. In 2014, 60% of the world's uh, urban fine particles pollution came from this source. And when we breathe constantly high levels of particulate matter year after year, our life expectancy decreases. According to a study by the Air Quality Life Index organization, an average person loses 2.2 years of life expectancy because of bad air quality. This same study estimates that more than half of Latin Americans breathe polluted air. This is not the only problem. There's also the lack of data to tackle this issue, because less than 25% of people in Latin America live in places where the air quality is monitored. And this is why we started CAIRA, a company in Peru that provides real-time air quality data through low-cost yet reliable tools for governments, companies, and citizens in Latin America. We have installed more than 300 air quality sensors in Peru and Ecuador, and we have monitored during the lockdown because of COVID-19. And we, we were able to verify how the pollution levels were reduced up to 90% in many, many parts of the country. Not every company is obliged by law to monitor their air quality. However, legal obligation should not be the primary motivation to do this. World leaders and business owners need to become aware of climate change. They need to start monitoring the emissions from their operating areas, contributing this data to the government in order to implement action plans that can actually benefit the communities. Some examples of these plans are the pedestrianization of certain areas, the, the transition to renewable energies, and the use of electric vehicles. Sometimes when we talk to business owners, about this project of air monitoring, they answer us, what do I gain from monitoring the air? And this answer is painful for us because we cannot always think about a win situation for our businesses. It is time to give back, to give sustainability to our planet. By continuously monitoring air quality, business owners have the capacity to see how the actions they implement actually reduce emissions. And they can guarantee a safe place to breathe for their workers and the communities nearby. This way, they impact positively in their health and well-being, and they contribute to the sustainable development goals. We cannot keep living with indifference towards climate change. Our future is endangered. And in order to beat climate change, we need to start thinking more in giving rather than winning and acting collectively and not alone. Thank you.